All right, this will be the climb portion of the A2A 172 tutorial. We just took off and our, uh, hold on a minute. There. We just took off and uh, we are on our way to wherever. Now, we're going to climb as, this, as if this was a cross country. That way I have more time to cover things. Now, during your first, from the ground to the 1,000 feet above airfield, you want to maintain VY. But once we get into the 1,000 feet above airfield and higher range, we can consider that as part of the cruise climb portion. So feel free to accelerate faster than VY. Uh, you'll climb all the time with the engine at full power. I like to climb at the cruise portion of the climb at 80 knots of airspeed. This gives you a good climb rate of roughly around 1,000 feet per minute below 3,000 feet. And... Uh, a good forward speed that gets you to your destination faster. Now we're going to be climbing up to 6,500 feet today. And we'll be flying south. Part of climbing is uh, finding your waypoints and getting on course. You want your top of climb waypoint or waypoint in between the airport and top of climb to be somewhere close and one that you can easily identify. In this case, we have US-1. We'll be flying south, so we can just follow US-1 to the south. US-1's that highway just outside of our window right here. Alrighty, so we're climbing. Uh, we're approaching 3,000 feet, and this is the first part of our climb that we need to worry about. 3,000 feet is where you need to start leaning the mixture out because the engine's going to get not performing as hard or as good because uh, the air gets thinner. So we're at 3,000 feet. Now they didn't model this, but in real life, this knob on the mixture here, you actually turn it. Once you're airborne, you don't want to pull the knob. You turn it, and that will slowly lean the mixture out or in. So to simulate that, use your mouse wheel. Just put your mouse over the knob and use the mouse wheel to slowly bring the mixture out. Roughly about a half inch every 500 to 1,000 foot is a good rate to bring the uh, mixture out during climb. Or you can bring it out in intervals. Every 1,000 feet to 1,500 feet, just bring it out a little bit. You want to keep the EGT pretty good during climb. Basically, you're just getting on course, monitoring your checkpoints, monitoring your systems, and all that fun stuff. All right, there's 4,000 feet. We'll bring it out a little bit more. Getting a little slow. Now, I'm going to show you something. I'm going to leave the throttle at full, and I'm going to climb at 60 knots of airspeed. You can, when your throttle is at a set during climb, as it is in the 172, it's full. You use your pitch to control airspeed. Now look how fast this airplane can climb when I'm trying to maintain an airspeed of 60 knots. Which is just barely flyable with the flaps up like this. See that? Not much of a performance difference, huh? Versus 80 knots. Be a little bit different so I can speed up to it. Looks like we had a wind shift there. Now look at my speed. 80 knots full throttle, my climb rate is actually higher than it was at a slower airspeed. Not much higher, but it's higher. Alright, 5,000 feet. We'll lean the mixture out some more. Really just one turn of the mouse wheel. At least on my mouse, does it. I'm using a Razer Black Widow, or Razer Death Adder. 2013 Death Adder. Yeah, 80 knots is a really good climb speed. Now, let's go over the climb checklist. You really want to do this earlier. Alright, in route climb. Flaps are up. Airspeed 70 to 85 knots. That's the range you want to maintain. 70 knots to 85 knots. Again, I like 80. Alright, 1,000 feet to go. That beeping was the autopilot telling us there's 1,000 feet to go, which happens whether or not the autopilot is on. 
throttle is full mixture, best power, and we're leaning it out as we go. Another thing is trim. Trim is your friend. I have it trimmed up to maintain roughly 80 knots right here. All right, there's 6,000 feet. Lean the mixture out a little bit more. Again, one turn of the mouse wheel. Your results may vary with depending on the mouse you have. I see US-1 out there still. Approaching the cruise altitude, 6,500 feet. All right, we'll level off. Now, when we level off, I like to leave the throttle at full for a little while after we level off. This lets the airplane speed up a bit. Once it hits 100 knots indicated airspeed, or if it starts slowing down, if it looks like it's not going to get above 100 knots, then I'll bring the throttle back to cruise setting. 2400 RPM is what I like to use for cruise. And then we will trim to maintain altitude. Alright, now we're cruising. Now we'll go over setting mixture for cruise during the cruise video, which would be the next one, but there's one last thing I want to mention on climb. Uh, I'm going to put us back in a climb again. When we're climbing, if you notice, you can't really see above the engine cowling very good. Yeah, hush. That beeping was the autopilot telling me I'm getting away from my altitude that I have set. So, we can't see over the engine cowling. It's kind of hard to see any traffic coming at us that might be climbing into us at a faster rate than us. So, periodically, as you climb, what you want to do is just leave the throttle at full. This doesn't take long to do. Pitch down a little bit to about a level attitude, look and see if there's anyone coming, and raise the nose right back up to where it was. You'll speed up a little bit, and, you'll might, and you might lose some altitude, but it's okay. You're checking for traffic. That's what you should be doing. You want to do that periodically. Maybe in a good habit would be to every thousand feet, lean your mixture out a bit as you climb and pitch the nose down to look for traffic. It doesn't take much to do, and it will save your life. <clears throat> All right, so that covers climbs. Uh, next video, cruise. Squirrely, it's going to be. Okay, we'll rotate at 55 knots. Look at that. Nice. Beautiful. Now we're at perfect crab into the wind. And just do your typical... Crosswind while airborne.